Hi, I'm Abby, and something people may not know about me is that I absolutely love dogs. I worked at a dog daycare for two years, where I learned a bit about dog breeds, behavior, grooming, and CPR. This hands-on experience really opened my eyes to how inaccurate and potentially harmful various misconceptions about dogs were, and encouraged me to help dispel those myths. In this video, I will be listing a few popular dog misconceptions and giving the real truths. Misconception number one, doodles are hypoallergenic and don't shed. Dog breeds that have recently become very popular are doodles, which are just various breeds of dogs that are mixed with poodles. Labradoodles, golden doodles, cockapoos, multipoos, and the like are all examples of doodles. A big reason for these breeds' popularity is that they apparently don't shed and thus are hypoallergenic and don't need to be brushed often. This is actually not the case. Since doodles are mixed with other breeds, they can shed even just a little bit and agitate people's allergies. Their coats are also relatively high maintenance and need routine grooming. If doodles are not brushed regularly, their fur gets matted and groomers are forced to shave the whole coat off. Please give your doodle a good brushing every day if possible. Misconception number two. Pitbull dogs are innately aggressive and violent. A long-standing dog-related stereotype is that pitbulls are an aggressive and dangerous dog breed. Pitbull is actually an umbrella term that covers various breeds, such as the American Pitbull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the American Bully, and the American Bulldog. These dog breeds were initially bred for bull baiting and dog fighting, and this has left the breed with a terrible reputation. But there is plenty of research that shows that pit bulls are no more aggressive than any other dog breed, and even dogs that were trained to fight rarely show aggression towards humans. Each dog is a unique individual, and their temperament is dependent on more than just genetics. With the right care and affection, any breed of dog can become the perfect companion for someone out there. Misconception number three, purebred or mixed breed dogs are always healthier. There are opposing myths about whether purebred or mixed breed dogs are healthier. While purebred dogs are often inbred in order to keep traits, mixed breed dogs can still suffer from health problems if they are improperly bred. Animal shelters are a great place to find dogs, as they come with all of their shots and are spayed and neutered. New dogs, including whole litters of puppies, are brought to shelters every day, and all of them deserve a home of their own. If you are after a specific dog breed, make sure to go to a reputable breeder who knows the health and lineage of each of their dogs. This ensures that the dog will be less likely to suffer from breed-specific health issues. Keep in mind that pet stores tend to source their dogs from puppy mills, where dogs are kept in horrible conditions in tiny cages, and backyard breeders are more focused on making a profit than caring for the dogs they breed. My motto? Adopt. But if you're going to shop, shop responsibly. Misconception number four. Popular dog food brands are better. Dog food brands are incredibly good at selling their products. You see a bag with a happy dog on it, surrounded by delicious looking meats and vegetables, and assume that the food must be great. But make sure to check the ingredients. A lot of popular dog food is made with animal byproducts, which are leftover bits of meat of questionable origin and condition. Corn and artificial colors are unnecessary for dogs, and the preservatives BHA and BHT are considered potential carcinogens. Look for a dog food that has a shorter ingredient list, has a meat source as the first ingredient, contains no byproducts, and uses natural preservatives. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two about dogs. Do you have any dogs? If you feel comfortable, share a picture of your dog and tell the world how great they are. And even if you don't have a dog, I'd love to see whatever pet you do have. 